spring and every fall, we usually take a bunch of kids from the church out on a camping trip uh, and fellowship with, you know, acoustic bonfire worship and all that great stuff. But while we're out there, we usually teach them how to shoot, how to fish, how to make fire, how to cook on the fire. A lot of the kids don't really have, you know, dads at home and stuff. And so it's a good opportunity to just help to sew into some of these uh, kids. So um, we're going to do that. And this year we're going to cook a little bit in a Dutch oven. So I'm going to get some of the kids to help me out and we'll see how it goes. And we're going to make a Dutch oven blueberry cobbler. Oh man, that is so good. Now this cobbler will work with any fruit. We're using blueberry, um, but you can use any fresh fruit, any frozen fruit, any pie filling, whatever you like, just layer it at the bottom um, and it's gonna work. We're using a little bit of frozen blueberries and blueberry pie filling, but again, you can use any fruit. Up at dawn making Dutch oven blueberry cobbler. Even my apprentice is doing the work for me. I'm just telling him what to do, smashing up some butter. We got one layer of blueberry pie filling and then our cobbler mixed with blueberries stirred in. Spread it all over. Alright, we got the cobbler topping on. Now we're gonna start the coals for the Dutch oven. Lighten the coals. Got coals hot, got 10 on the bottom, 20 on the top. You want double as many on the top as on the bottom so that your heat cooks more from the top than the bottom. And now we're gonna let it cook. You wanna rotate the pot and the lid about every 15 minutes to make sure that it cooks evenly because your coals might be hotter on one side than the other. So when you're baking, you need to rotate it every once in a while to make sure that it's getting heat to both sides. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll check it. Oh, actually, it probably is done. Because if it is it separating from the sides, I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer. But usually, if it's not done, if you kick it, it still looks fluidy. Yeah, that looks pretty close. I'm gonna leave it probably about ten more minutes, but it's it's just about ready. It's good to me. It turned out really good. Find Caleb's cobbler. Alrighty. Oh man, that is so good. <laughs> <laughs> that really is good. Look, my legs jumping. <laughs> it's so good, my legs started jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Say more.